welcome back to another video man i am excited excited about today's install man i've been wanting this for so long i finally got it I'm, I'm gonna do an unboxing for y'all but i'm gonna just let y'all see the box right now because I'm, I'm right now i'm headed across town to actually get the other piece to it so there go the box let y'all see the box so we get back with y'all when we get um to the storage unit to get the parts out there so when i say i've been needing this part i mean i feel like all the mods that i did to the car the car really deserved this mod that i'm doing to it right now for real it's been so long i should have been got it but yeah i was throwing it off throwing it off and the gift the um the part was actually a gift the part was actually a gift from my girl for my birthday so i appreciate you The part we're going to pick up too is actually a gift too <laughs> but yeah but i'm gonna see y'all when i get done so yeah man we made it to the storage unit i made sure i, feel, I hate that dumb junk every time you come we don't need one I put all my parts in this corner. Shut up. Out of that room. I may have to take this bag. I got my Allen's and the stuff I need in there, I think. Yeah, I'm just taking it. Still got suspension parts right here. Brand new, never used. Great. I'll put it on one day. I gotta get coilovers. Y'all know I'm on Orange Springs. Where are the things going for? There it goes. This is what we got here. If I open it, y'all will know, so I'm not gonna open it. Let's see what else we got in here. Suspension. I think all this stuff is suspension and exhaust parts and tools. But catch y'all when I do a reveal. So yeah, I'm about to be doing unboxing for y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. We already done opened it. If y'all know this company, y'all know what it is already. Um, I already opened it. I'm not gonna even lie to y'all see what we got. If y'all know what this is, y'all know what it is. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm finna show y'all now. So yeah, man, I finally got a wheel. It came with the hub, and it came with, nope. Um, I gotta get um the quick release. That's the only thing I don't have. So I gotta get the quick release. And this is what was going to pick up. Bam. I should've got the other one with the two-sided one, but I didn't tell her, and so she got this one for me. Like I said, this was a gift too. Oh, we gotta put this on. The beta valve. Hmm, metal one. Shout out to GK Tech. Shout out to 
full booth. Yep, yep. I don't know if we're gonna be putting this on today or tomorrow because right now I'm at my grandparents' house. We gotta finish cutting these trees down. Y'all, there go the Mustang right there. <laughs> Just sitting there. But yeah, though, man, we got a wheel finally. All right, we about to get this thing out of here. Let's go to the new one. We got one thing right here. We got to pull off one right here on this side. Then we got to unscrew it. Y'all let my door prop, but before before we get this wheel off, the airbag off, we got to um disconnect this battery. I know some people they just do that unhook the ground cable, but I need to unhook this power too. It's loose. Unplugged up. I'm going off. I'm gonna let this hood back down. Got all my tools. Let's get this stuff done. It's gonna be tough to record, y'all, because I only got one hand. Do what it do. Yeah, we gonna do what it do. Um, I think this one will fit it. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. It don't fit it good, but it fit it. Oh, I'm gonna have to get back with y'all. This jump hard to turn right now with this one here. I had to rig this up. <laughs> Only way it was gonna come off. Sage, if, if you ain't got no problem, so this side giving me problems to come off, acting like going to script. So I'm about to go to the store because I actually lost my T30, so I got to go to the store and grab a T30. This side came out with no problem. I gotta run auto zone, grab a T30, and I'll be back. Twelve dollars later, <laughs> man. Great. I'm taking this back to the store. I ain't gonna need the cap. I got the same set right there, but I just letting people use the tools, man. Don't let people use the tools because they don't bring all your stuff back. Man, y'all, look, I'm going through it over here. I had to cut that out. Look, I cut it out. The thing script, I went and started drilling it. The drill thing wasn't working. So, I had to go next door to ask the guy next door. But this this not the one that he used, but he used a 3 8 of one of these. He had to put it on the back of the screw and pull it out. <laughs> so I finally got the thing off. Man. So it should be able to come out. Man. The steering wheel out. Crazy. I gotta get this out. <laughs>
I'm not doing a tutorial, but if you want to take these out, you just pick the size on both sides and then pull it out. I'm going to get back to y'all when I got it out. All right, we got them up finally, man. Just take them out. There's our bag, man. Wow. Now, got to take this off. Y'all know we're switching our cruise control button over. I wanted to get the other one to get the thing and switch this over too, but we just got the one with the one side, so we're just going to have this, and it's going to be gone. Let's see if we can get this. Make sure your steering wheel is straight when you're doing this too. Oh, look at there. Easy peasy, let me squeeze it, babe. Put that on for it won't fly back off and hit me. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. Yeah, feel me. We gotta take this stuff off right here. Just this button. Where's my little pick? Press that in. Pull that out. Boom, just like that. Very Gucci. It can come off now. Let me take these wires from between this for it won't get hung up. Screw come out. People be making like this so hard. It's so easy. On me. Bam, there it go. Steering wheel off. No one can go on. We're gonna make sure this clock spring is lined up with this. Like I said, it ain't no tutorial. I'm just explaining it. I gotta take the um, screws out of this to put the hub on. Give me a second. Your wire right here. Place it in here. So, if y'all didn't know, so you wanna line it up with that top piece right there and right there like that. So, I can't do this with one hand. I can. Look at that. So we got that thing on. Like I said, we don't have the crit release part, so it's just gonna be up there until I get it. Enough. Taking our cruise control button off. Oh man. Taking our cruise control button off. Screwdriver. I just had a screwdriver. So right here. Two screws in the back. Well, there's three of them. I really don't care about losing these screws because the steering wheel is going in the garbage can. I'm asking to keep my volume and mode power button. Right here. I'm going to keep that one. 
just in case I buy the other part. So the other piece. So I only got the one for the one side, so that's how it would sit. I got with the cruise control button and all that. So now we flip this over to the back. I'm gonna have to keep these, some of these, these two screws for the music volume side. y'all been liking the videos i've been trying to post stay consistent i also been um making shorts everything so i appreciate y'all from watching and tuning in um my birthday is tuesday you guys birthday is tuesday and um bear wheel <laughs> but I might just sell those to the airbag and things. But yeah, um, birthday is Tuesday. I plan on, I don't know. I'm gonna start dropping my PO box in the description if y'all want to support the channel in any way. And also my cash app, if y'all want to support the channel. You know, y'all can send y'all merch. I can um, rock it on the um, uh, videos. I can promote it, whatever you want me to do. Appreciate y'all, man. So we got the wheel on, nice and sturdy. I actually gotta screw it on more, but for the most part, it's so on. I actually kept this on there. I didn't take it off, so it's still on there. But I got this one on. I had to turn the thing upside down because it wouldn't let me click, put it on with this one. So it's upside down, but I still can use it. Oh yeah, the horn and stuff, I don't have it connected. But I hope I got these defilers on right. Let me check and see. So I gotta fix the defilers. I got them connected backwards, probably. But yo, though, man, the install video, y'all see it? It's installed. I ain't gonna fix that until I get the quick release anyway, because I'm not even driving the car. So I didn't put the. I just hooked the regular plug back in. So. Yeah, and I got to get the ground thing and everything because they didn't give me the ground piece. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be it. The thing, look, it look great, man. My button cricket, y'all, because I put it on and I put it in cricket. <laughs> so, I got to straighten up my button. So don't think my steering real cricket because it's not. It's just my button. When I place my button in, because I took it out, I placed it in cricket. As y'all can see, it's not cricket because this is pointing straight up. <laughs> but yeah, though, man, that's it. <laughs> so yeah, man, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch y'all in the next one. I had to come back and tell y'all this. So, you know when they give you this wire to replace your ground wire and your horn wire? Well, I just figured out that you don't even need this for real. Because you could... I, I got the old connector that was connected to the steering already on there. And I'm going to hit my cruise control. I'm going to hit it twice. Bing, bing, boom, set.
it still works, right? So all the thing I would have to do is depin this wire and replace the green wire that's in there and depin this into the spot that the green wire in and ground this wire. So everybody been doing, I ain't gonna say they're doing it wrong, but they're doing a lot of work. And only thing you gotta do is depin this from this and pin it into what the green spot that is pinned on the steering wheel on the inside of it. That's all you gotta do. I just had to come back and tell y'all that. All right, see y'all in the next one. <laughs>